Hello friends, uh, this is the tutorial of jQuery and this is the first tutorial in the series. In this tutorial we are going to learn jQuery. <coughs> first let us see what is jQuery. Let me scroll to the point where we will start the jQuery. Okay, so uh, the first question is generally asked is that what is jQuery? jQuery is not a language but it is a well written JavaScript code. As quoted on official jQuery website, it is a fast and concise JavaScript library that simplifies HTML document traversing, event handling, animating, and AJAX interaction for rapid web development. <coughs> this simply says that it, it's a library, it's not a, a, a language. Neither it is a server side language, neither it, nor it is a, a client side language or any scripting language, but it is simply a code that is very well written into JavaScript. In order to work with jQuery, you should be aware of basics of JavaScript, HTML and CSS. I would suggest if you are not aware of JavaScript, HTML and CSS, then uh, please do not watch, continue this uh, video and go back and learn first these three things because that is very important in order to understand how jQuery works and how to work with jQuery. jQuery was released in January 2006 at Bar Camp NYC by John Resig. John Resig is the inventor of jQuery. Now licensing, it's a free open source of software dual licensed under MIT license and the GNU general public license. It's a free software anyone can use either for their personal or professional or commercial use. Microsoft has integrated jQuery officially into its IDE Visual Studio 2010 and jQuery IntelliSense is available in Visual Studio 2010 now. So if you like to uh, work with uh, jQuery in Visual Studio 2010, you do not need to remember all the syntaxes because IntelliSense are available and it will give you all the IntelliSense of jQuery in Visual Studio 2010. Even it comes with the Visual Web Developer 2010 also Express that is uh, freely available. Now uh, few of you may ask a question that if we can work with the JavaScript and uh, this jQuery is nothing but a library <coughs> that is well written code in the JavaScript then why jQuery? jQuery is a very com compact and well written code that increases the productivity of the developer by enabling them to achieve critical UI functionality by writing very less amount of code. The work that you can uh, do in jQuery by writing few lines of code if you have to do the same work in simple raw JavaScript you may need to write hundreds of lines of code but in jQuery we can just do it within two to three lines of code. So it helps to improve the performance of the application. It helps to develop most browser compatible web pages. It helps to implement UI related critical functionality without writing hundreds of lines of code. And it is a fast, it is extensible also because jQuery can be extended into multiple customized behavior. You, uh, you must have heard about uh, jQuery plugins that is written based on this uh, jQuery. Uh, the, the, the the basic jQuery. The other advantage of jQuery are that you no need to learn a fresh new syntax to use jQuery. Knowing simple JavaScript syntax is more than enough. And then it is simpler and cleaner code. No need to write several lines of code to achieve a complex functionality. Now uh, we learned why jQuery. Now where to download jQuery from? The jQuery file can be downloaded from its official website called www.jquery.com. The next topic we are going to cover is how to use jQuery. jQuery comes as a single JavaScript file containing everything comes out of the box with jQuery. It can be include it can be included within a page using the following markup. You can see that this markup is almost a similar markup that we used to include or refer any .js file that we ourselves write. Because jQuery is nothing but a, a JS file so we can use the same script tag to refer the jQuery. It is ideally suggested to keep this script tag in the head and head block however you are free to keep wherever you want to keep in the entire page. Now <coughs> what is the difference between jQuery xxx.js and jQuery xxx-min.js. You must have noticed that whenever you will uh, create a new project in the Visual Studio, then you will see that there will be two versions of jQuery file. 
let me show you that so let me create a new website and empty website and ok <coughs> you will see that there are two files here jquery-1.4.1.js and jquery-1.4.1.min.js the difference between these two files are the first file that is without min is the human readable file you can you can see that there is a proper alignment there is a proper space okay so any any anybody any programmer who, who who knows simple javascript can try to understand this code however if you open the main version of the jquery file you will notice that it is not human readable means it is not human understand understandable it is very difficult to understand the whole code because it is not properly aligned there is no space i think everything is written in the into the single line so this is the difference between the two that's why it is always suggested to use the min version of the file because its file size is also less let me copy the path and open it so i have copied the file and opened it you will notice that the min version of the jquery file is only 71 kilobyte however the normal js file is 165 kilobyte so that is why it is suggested to use the min version because its file size is less so it will load in your browser very fast I am here yeah so this was the difference between the jquery uh, dash xxx.js and dot min uh, dot js the next topic is which version of jquery file should be used in most of the recent release so far the core functionality of jquery remains the same however some more cool and better features are added so ideally when you are going to create a new web application and you are going to use a jquery it is suggested that you go to jquery.com website and download the latest version of the uh, jquery uh, file by doing so you, you will ensure that your earlier functionality will still work and you can use the new features available as part of the new release the next topic here is loading jquery file from cdn cdn stands for content distribution network or content delivery network first let us try to understand what is content delivery network or cdn CDN is basically a group of computers placed at various points connected with a network containing copies of data files to maximize bandwidth in accessing the data. It means that in, in the simple term you can you can say that CDN, CDN is nothing but a group of computer that is connected together uh, f from the network. In CDN, a client access a copy of data nearer to the client location rather than all client accessing from one particular server. For example, if, if the jQuery file is hosted on CDN <coughs> and that CDN has their server in India, USA and UK, if any Indian user is trying to browse that jQuery file, then Indian server will respond. If any US user is trying to browse that particular jQuery file, then US server will respond respond in this way it makes sure that the file is downloaded much 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 faster than accessing from one single server there are two leading CDNs available that host a jquery file the first uh, CDN is Microsoft CDN to load the jQuery data it means that jquery file from Microsoft CDN you can use this script block where the CDN version of jquery file path is ajax.microsoft.com slash ajax slash jquery slash the file name <coughs> for more details on uh, cdn uh, of microsoft you can go to www.asp.net slash ajax library slash cdn.ashx file the other uh, cdn is a uh, google cdn that is also very famous and in order to uh, download the uh, file you can go to uh, code.google.com slash api slash library slash devguide.html where you will get all the complete details here I have written the code snippet that you will have to use in order to refer the google uh, cdn file and its url is ajax.google apis.com slash ajax slash lips slash jquery slash version name and then file name now you may ask a question that we can use our local version of jquery file then why to load the uh, 
jQuery file from the CDN. See, <coughs> it's a it, it's a, it's a browser behavior that if you are referring any file in a multiple pages, for example, a CSS file, a CSS file, or a JS file, then what happens is that the browser loads for the first time, and in the remaining request, if the same file is being requested from the server, it takes from its history or its cache and use it. So for example, if this jQuery file is being used in a website 1 and if a website 2 is also using the same version of jQuery file and your your user has browsed your website 1 and when your user will again browse your website 2, this jQuery file will not be downloaded for a website 2 but this jQuery file will be taken from the browser history and will be used. So in this case what will happen is the performance of website 2 will increase because in order to browse the website 2 uh, a browser doesn't need to download the jQuery file. So that is the main benefit of uh, uh, loading the jQuery file from the CDN. The benefit uh, in terms of points is here. The first is that faster page load as jQuery file need not to be downloaded. The second is saves your bandwidth because the jQuery files are not being served from your own server so your bandwidth is not being consumed but, but the CDN's bandwidth is being consumed. So you are saving your bandwidth. The third is that it is scalable because these uh, jQuery files are hosted on CDN's and those CDN's are, uh, are distributed across the whole world. So it is scalable. There will not be load on a single server, but the load will be distribu distributed across multiple server. The next topic we are going to see is the what if the latest jQuery file is available and I am still referring the older version of jQuery file from CDN. Now in this case we should not worry about because it is a general promise made by CDNs that even if the new version of the file will uh, will be released, they will keep uh, uh, hosting the uh, older version of the file on the same location. For example, currently if this version is jQuery file version is 1.4.4 and if somehow 1.8.1 is coming, this jQuery file, the 1.4.4 version of jQuery file will remain hosted on the same location so your system will, your application will still run. Now let us see the next topic. The next topic is that how to load local jQuery file in case CDN is not available. There might be possibility that uh, the CDN that you are going to use in your application is not available at particular point of time. In that case your uh, application will not be up properly because jQuery file not will, will not be loaded. In that case what you can do is that you can write this particular block of code where in first script block what I have done is that I have tried to load the jQuery file from uh, from Microsoft CDN and in the net, next script block I am checking that if the jQuery variable is undefined it means that jQuery file has not been loaded from the CDN then document.write the script tag of loading the jQuery file from my local machine. You can see that this is the path of the jQuery file from the my local machine it means in your own the, the file path of your server. So in this case what we are doing is that if script block will be rendered and uh, jQuery file will not be downloaded from CDN then your local file will be loaded in your browser and your uh, application will still run in the same way. Now uh, the next topic we are going to see is how to execute jQuery code. See there are mainly two ways to execute j uh, uh, jQuery code. The first is that either you wrap your jQuery code for example here is my jQuery code so you can wrap your jQuery code in, inside the, uh, the function or you can directly write your jQuery code into the script block. In both cases you will get the same behavior there will not be any difference in terms of functionality. The second way of loading uh, of writing jQuery code is that you can wrap your jQuery code inside the document.ready function. If you wrap your jQuery code inside the document.ready function you are making sure that your jQuery code will only execute when the complete DOM object is means the document object is loaded for the page. Okay. 
as a developer the decision of where and how to write jquery code lies on you it means the developer i myself personally prefer to use this way of uh, writing the jquery code because when i am writing the jquery code in this way i make sure that the whole document is ready is loaded in the browser i am ready to and i am ready to play with any di any html element that i want now let's see jquery features and under that we are going to cover jquery core jquery accepts a string enclosed with double quotes that can contain a css selector which is used to match a set of elements on the page jquery code can start with either jquery word or with a dollar symbol just to see this code snippet in this code snippet in the first code snippet i have this line in the second code snippet also i have the same line but the only difference is the first code, is, code snippet is prefixed with jquery word and the second code snippet is prefixed with dollar in terms of functionality both will behave in the same way let us see that in action so let me open the jquery and see the jquery core and here let us see this so i'm going to run this page jquery code.aspx you can see that this is the jquery code.aspx let me refresh the page what it will do is that it will find the div1 do not worry about these things i'm going to cover these things later on it will find the div1 here and it will apply the css uh, style with a border and two pixels solid and green that's what is happening here you can see it it is finding the div1 and applying the border of two pixel green and the solid border now if i will change its co uh, from dollar to jquery let me write j query then let us refresh this page and see what is happening you will notice that we are getting the same behavior there is no difference at all in terms of functionality it means that either we can use uh, either you can prefix the jquery code with jquery word or the dollar symbol in th both are allies now the preferred way of writing jquery is prefixing with the dollar symbol because you know it takes less uh, uh, less size instead of writing six character better to write only one character so it will ultimately decrease the size of your overall uh, aspx page or html page or jsp page whatever you are using 